Alrighty guys, welcome back to another Apo Omnia video where we're gonna be doing some post commentary for the Dorgon solo run that I just recorded and I kid you not, I think I probably did between 50 to 100 resets to finally get an actual Dorgon solo run. Now, before I continue on, I do want to mention that this uh, solo run was not my idea. Uh, I had a, uh, a video pop up in my recommended feed by a JP player who actually did this solo run uh, when Transcendence 12 dropped on JP. So I take no credit for this idea whatsoever. Uh, I will link the video down in the description below uh, to the one that, I, that, uh, that appeared in my recommended feed. But again, I do not take any credit for this. The only reason why I decided to do this, and normally I don't really go onto the whole like solo train like uh, like many players do, or not many, but like some players do. Um, but I decided to do it this time only because I'm not gonna be chasing for CMOS BT unless it somehow drops in the next like two banners where it has free multis. Then you know maybe I'll consider like greening him in the future. But as of right now, I think I'm I, I think I'm good with just having his FR that I pulled I pulled earlier uh, tonight. So, um, because of that, I wanted to attempt this Dorgon solo, and I was not expecting it to take so many tries. Like, literally, it took so many freaking tries, and, it, and it's because of a few reasons. So, uh, one, of the first reason, uh, one of the first things that you need to uh, take a look at uh, when it comes to doing a solo attempt is the fact that w the enemy's uh, force ability is going to activate first before yours. The thing with the enemy's uh, force ability is that it's going to have back-to-back -back turns and it'll jump in the turn order after you act. The first turn, it's going to hit you with a brave, brave attack and it's going to grant itself a brave regen and that brave regen buff is no freaking joke because the amount of brave that it recovers to itself is freaking insane. The second attack is where RNG really, really, really needs to be on your side and you need to hope that it actually misses you because without that you're just you're pretty much just resetting which is pretty much which which is what i did um you are constantly resetting until you get that miss on the hp attack now some of you guys may comment or, or might be wondering like why didn't you use like a Rydia ld call or gladio ld call um here's the thing using Owen's uh, LD or just like his call ability and his LD call ability, you want to take advantage advantage of that melee resist down because it's going to help out Dorgon a lot. I did actually attempt the run using the Gladio LD call. It's a big difference between having Gladio's call and Owen's call. And so I would rather have Owen's call because it allows me to deal more damage onto the enemy. And then the enemies, whenever they spawn, once the uh, the main or the first uh, boss reaches 50% of his HP or below. So because of that, I had to stick with the Owen call ability. Because again, that melee resist down. Also, I went ahead and uh, gave uh, Owen his, uh, an Ultimecia Sphere, so that that way, when I used Owen's call ability, it would inflict the defense down, which guess what? That's gonna equal more brave damage for Dorgon with his follow-ups, with his abilities, so on and so forth. Speaking of abilities, Timing of abilities is definitely important on this one, especially when you activate his second FR, you gotta do your very best to not let the ads, because by, by that point, uh, the first boss that you went up against at the start of the fight will, will should be dead. So you're gonna be dealing with the ads at that point, and you do not want to let them act. Uh, because they are going to grant themselves that brave regen buff, and then, you know, with them having back-to-back -back turns, and they got that speed buff active, I mean, it, it's just not gonna be a uh, it's not gonna be a good day for you, and that's and that was the other situation that that I was running into is that I was not using uh, the the correct abilities, or I was not like timing out like which enemies I needed to 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 focus on first so that they can get broken and I could continue to continue to uh, break them, you know, get my EX ready, which breaks all the targets, uh, my LD ability, you know, so on and so forth. Like the timing uh, when it comes to doing this solo attempt is pretty freaking nuts. Uh, towards the uh, the end of the uh, the gameplay, you're gonna see the spheres and everything like that. Uh, one thing to know is that you need to remove the, the what is it, the speed buff passive off of Dorgon. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why the Japanese player. Uh, decided to remove it 
but um, they, you know, they went ahead and did it. I'm not entirely sure, so I, and I, you know, like, it, like I say, it's 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 late at night, so my brain is just, especially after God knows um, how many retry or how many resets I, I've done. Uh, he did, or uh, uh, they had a uh, 108 330 passes equipped onto their Dorgon and their gameplay, but for my Dorgon, I went ahead and did uh, 108 and a C50, and it was, and it, it worked out just fine. I mean, there might be a, a bit of a difference uh, between uh, their passes compared to mine, but I mean, like, you know, at the end, I still got the win. Um, after the first FR, or before your first ex FR expires, you definitely want to go into the summon, and you want to make sure that the debuff that Dorgon inflicts from his skill 1 is active on the ad so that that way you can uh, deal the follow-up attacks that is very important not only for the follow-up attacks but also because it'll help you in increasing the force gauge faster so by the time you get out of it um you will be at a higher percentage compared to the enemies because you do not want the enemies to, to activate the force again because it, it's pretty much a gg on their end and they won the battle and you're gonna have to reset all over again and hey they they charge their force gauge uh pretty fast so like uh other, other than that i mean that's pretty much like all that i can think of uh in uh, when it comes to the solo attempt for um uh for for this transcendence uh 12 fight uh overall you know as 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 much as i hated and i was getting frustrated and pissed off uh, at the many many attempts and I honestly don't know why I kept continuing like it, it literally it's like 1 30 in the morning right now and I am like adding this post commentary I must be losing I don't know uh, but <laughs> no in all seriousness though normally again like normally I do not do these type of solo at least these crazy type of solos but for some reason I just really really wanted to just like go all out for this transcendence fight on my global account and uh do and, and attempt it you know and i'm at the end i'm you know i i managed to beat it i'm satisfied with it yeah it's late as hell over here where i'm at at the moment but you know what i mean i got the win and i'm happy where where, where we are at now so uh, a big thank you to the japanese player uh for uploading that video because uh, if it wasn't for them then yeah i don't think this would have been possible like i i, I wouldn't even know like where to start it, w it probably would have taken me a little bit longer, actually much longer, uh, to to figure out like all of the uh, you know the this and that and like what I had to do, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So like a big thank you to them. Again, not my idea for the solo run. Uh, you know, it was all all credit goes to them. I just wanted to do it because I wanted to see if I can get it done. But uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, I really don't have nothing else to say other than hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and a big thank you, of course, to all of my uh, my YouTube members uh, for uh, for the additional support that you guys showed to me. Uh, but uh, other than that, though, guys, that's gonna be it. Take care. Have a good rest of your day and or night. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. <laughs> の鬼 の剣道。封じるまでもない。その程度か。息子には負けられんよ。